How should I write my app description for Google Play? Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to this Google Play playlist. Today we'll be talking about the app description for Google Play. If you want more advanced topics, just go for Thomas videos. With me, you're gonna go for beginners. We're gonna go from the start. Ready? Important thing to remember is that differently from iOS, Google Play actually searches for keywords in your app description. So you have to place keywords there. Important thing to remember here is that for iOS, you have app name and subtitle. For Google Play, you have app title and short description. And a lot of things are different here because for the app title, we have a video for that. You have 50 characters to write your keywords, your brand name. In your short description, you have 80 characters. But then you have the long description with 4,000 characters. So you have a lot of places to put your keywords and you can repeat them and we're gonna go over this. The important thing to remember when you're writing your description for Google Play is that your app description will influence your rankings in Google Play. Bear this in mind. First things first, short description. So in the short description, you have 80 characters to place keywords that didn't fit in your title. I know that in Google Play, we always say, okay, repeat keywords everywhere, but let's remember that the app title and the short description, the user doesn't have to take any action to read it. It's just there in front of their eyes. So it's important that here you use different keywords. Doesn't mean that you can go crazy about it. You can just use synonyms, but you can use other keywords. They're also relevant and they're important for your app, just in your short description. And you also have more space. So you should make use of it. So what I would suggest for your short description, it's basically you place the keywords that are also very important, but didn't fit in your app title. Meaning maybe keywords that the search volume wasn't that high, or it was a bit harder to, to rank for this keyword, but they're still important for your apps. This is also the second most important field for Google Play. So your keywords, the relevant keywords should be there. A person that is super convinced about your app, just read your app title, see your app icon and download it. But the person that is not that convinced goes to your store listing and like, is this app offering what I'm looking for? And then read your short description and it's like, oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's what you want. Because if the person goes to your store listing, check your short description and you're still confused, like, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm whatever, they're gonna drop it and not download it. You basically here have 4,000 characters to repeat keywords all over the place, but right? don't exaggerate. So basically you have your short description and then you tap and then you have a full description and that's where we are now. So this is the place that you have to explain your app in more details and talk about features that you didn't talk before because they are important but not that important, right? So this is where you have to place your other keywords and also your synonyms and repeat the keywords that you have in your title and in your short description. Why do you need to do that? Basically, Google has to understand that this is a keyword for you, that this is a keyword that you would like to rank for. So when you repeat the keyword three to five times, Google is like, oh, okay, they are an app about that. They want to rank for this keyword. If you use a full description as a keyword field, this wouldn't work out. That's not the point. The point is that you're going to explain, you're going to write nice text, and Google is going to find their keywords naturally. Because if the algorithm understands that you're just stuffing keywords in there, they could penalize you and this could be bad for your rankings. So really write in a natural way and then place the keywords where they belong in a sentence in a normal and you know way of course you should always use bullet points because it's easier to read for the person but also it's a great way to add keywords don't forget about that don't forget that your full description is just complementing the short description so pay attention that this is one whole text the difference is that the user will read the first one without doing anything but then they will tap and then you can read the rest. So it has to make sense. It's one big text. And also remember that people usually don't read the description. They just read it when they don't get it, if they're gonna find what they want in that app. So your description must be so engaging and showing like, oh, this app is the most amazing app and you're gonna find what you want. You're gonna find even more. Here are some quick tips for you when you're writing your app description. Keep your main features in a short description. List all your features in your full description so people will understand everything that you offer in your app. Just use 4,000 characters if you have something to say in 4,000 characters. You don't need to write it a huge text if you don't have anything to say, but also use wisely this field because it's very important for you. Be aware of grammar mistakes and misspellings. 
I know that sometimes it happens, but it's so important that you have a beautiful written description because when you don't, it might look a bit sloppy or shady and then the person could be like, oh, I actually don't trust this person to download this app. That's it for today. I hope you know now how to write an amazing app description that will help your keyword rankings. We're gonna come back soon and more videos, basic videos about Google Play and more advanced videos about Google Play. If you want to know one specific topic, just comment below and we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We want to know what you want to know and then we're gonna make you know, oh my God, that was so confusing. If you like videos like that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell. It was a pleasure. I can't wait for our next video and see you next time. Goodbye.